Hello and welcome to yet another Korean College Scholastic Ability Test video. I have already uploaded many problems from the most recent test, that is, this year's test, but I still have one more problem that I'd like to share with you, which is this one. Quadrilateral ABCD is inscribed in a circle, satisfying length of AB equals 5, length of AC equals 3 square root of 5, length of AD equals 7, and angle BAC equals angle CAD. So this equals this. Then what is the radius of the circle? And this is actually a multiple choice problem. So if you want to find the answer by yourself, please pause right here. Okay, let's solve this problem. So we are given a bunch of length here, such as this length is 5, this length is 3 square root of 5, and this length is 7. Also, let's call these angles alpha. Now we have to find this radius r, and the best way to do that is to use the famous law of sines, especially the law of sines including the radius of the circumcircle. From triangle ABC, the law of sines gives length of BC over sine alpha equals 2r. Similarly, now from triangle ACD, applying the law of sines at angle alpha gives length of CD over sine alpha equals 2r. Here we have the same radius r because triangles ABC and ACD are inscribed in the same circle. Also, from these two relations, we can find out that length BC equals length CD. So let's just call it x. So these lengths are both x. But you don't actually have to use the law of sines to find out that BC equals CD. Some of you might already know the basic properties related to inscribed angle in a circle, which is these two arcs have the same magnitude of the inscribed angle, meaning that their central angles are also equal, which is twice the inscribed angle. So you can easily see that these two arcs have the same arc length, and these two chords also have the same length. Alright, we know that we can find the radius of the circumcircle using the law of sines, so now we have to find these x and alpha. And that can be done by using another famous trigonometric law for triangles, the law of cosines. First, applying the law of cosines to triangle ABC yields x square equals 5 square plus 3 square root of 5 square minus 2 times 5 times 3 square root of 5 cosine alpha. So we have our first equation. Next, applying the law of cosines to triangle ACD yields x squared equals 3 square root of 5 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 3 square root of 5 times 7 cosine alpha. And so we have the second equation. If we simplify the numbers a bit, the first equation becomes x squared equals 70 minus 30 square root of 5 cosine alpha, and the second equation becomes x squared equals 94 minus 42 square root of 5 cosine alpha. Here, we can simply eliminate x by subtracting equation 2 from equation 1. This gives 0 equals minus 24 plus 12 square root of 5 cosine alpha. Therefore, cosine alpha equals 2 over square root of 5. Substituting this into equation 1, we obtain x squared equals 70 minus 30 square root of 5 times 2 over square root of 5. So we have 10. And since x is positive, x equals square root of 10. So we have obtained these. Alright, so we have obtained this, but we need the value of sine alpha to calculate the radius r. Here, this angle alpha is between 0 and pi over 2, so sine alpha is positive, which is square root of 1 minus 2 over square root of 5 squared, which is 1 over square root of 5. Therefore, from this relation obtained from the law of sines, radius r equals x over 2 sine alpha, so square root of 10 over 2 times 1 over square root of 5, which is square root of 50 over 2, which is 5 square root of 2 over 2. And from our multiple choice here, we know the correct answer is choice 1. And that's all for today's video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in another video.